and welcome back to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. If you are new, you are highly and very welcome. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a side row foot skirt. So you can see the picture up here. So it is a beautiful skirt. So that's what we are going to learn how to cut and sew. Even as a beginner, you should be able to, you will, not should. Be able to pull off this look okay so the fabric that i'm going to be making use of today i'm making use of a duchess so this is a beautiful fabric it's called a duchess and i'm making use of three yards of this fabric for this skirt because of the ruffle i want it to be very full so that is what we are going to be doing so if you have not subscribed already please hit on the subscribe button and then hit the bell also to get notification whenever i upload a new video you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook instagram Pinterest all at stylish Niger and then you can also register if you want to register Okay, yeah, if you want to register for our online classes, which we normally run every month So you can see my number scrolling through the screen Just send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll give you the details of the classes that we have Available presently. Okay, so now let's get started. So I have my pattern paper So i'll draft the skirt first on the pattern before we transfer to our fabric So I have some basic lines here Already so the, the line, the length, the full length of my skirt is 26 inches. So this is 26 inches. And then this line is my start-up line. And then I have 9 inches. That's from my waist to my hip is 9 inches. And then from my waist to my knee is 19.5 inches. So these are the basic line. And then this is the full length. So in drafting this skirt, the measurement I'm going to be using, I'm just going to need the waist measurement, which is 32. And then my hip is 40. So we're going to come to this point now, and then we're going to insert our waist measurement. So you divide your waist measurement into four, which is eight inches. So I'll draft the front first, and then we'll use the front to cut the back. So this is eight inches. And then I'm going to add two inches allowance to it. Well, I'm adding two inches, I'll use one inch for my dart, and then the other one inch I'll use for stitching. So I'm just going to mark this point like this. And then the next measurement, I'm going to add my hip measurement on the hip line, which is 40. You divide 40 into 4, you have 10. This is 10 inches. And then I'm going to add two inches allowance. You add it that way. So it, it is a simple process, and then you mark like this. And then for the knee, I want the knee to reduce. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure what I have here, 12 inches, and I'm going to take out 2 inches from it. So I'm going to have 10 inches here. So the 10 inches, I'm just going to do this. And then I'll bring straight to my knee length. So you can see how easy it is to draft this. So I'm almost running out of my marker. So well done. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead for a cut in my fabric. So like I said, this is my Duchess fabric. So I finished cutting my skirt, put the back and the front piece together. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut out my skirt. So this skirt you can actually sew it in two ways. You can decide to cut it. For ease of attaching the ruffles or you can decide to sew the skirt and then attach the ruffles on top so it depends on what you want but this one that you are cutting and attaching the ruffles is easier because you are not going to be struggling to attach the ruffles you are just going to attach the ruffles easily and then you join the other part to it so it is much easier so for the sake of beginners i chose to use okay so in order to determine how we are going to cut this so the first thing i'm going to go and do I'll go and join my back piece together. I'll just join it along this that line, and then that, that's the back line, and then I'll bring it back for before we cut. Okay, so I finished joining my skirt. That's the zipper part. So you see the line. So initially I was just playing around, so don't mind this chalk here. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to cut our skirt. So how you are going to cut it, you are going to determine that. So for this, so this is the longer part of my, of the skirt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come a little down below the knee. So I'll just mark 21 inches here. 
and then I'll go to this high part and then I'll mark 17 inches. So I'm going to make a curve. If I don't like it, I can decide to go higher. So I'm just going to create not a very deep curve. So it should not be deep. So you can just cut it however you want to cut it because this, the, the ruffles are going to come like this. And then you arrange them on this part like that. So if it is too curvy, it might be difficult for you to achieve. So I'll just bend it up a little bit. So I think I like what I have. So it is easier this way. So I'm going to go ahead now. I will cut it. So I've pinned both the back and the front together so it is easier for me. So in pleating the ruffles, we can do it this way. We can decide to close up one part. You understand? So we're just going to close up one part. This is the high part. So we're going to close up this part and so that we'll start fixing the ruffle from this high part and then it comes to this side. So in fixing the ruffle, so I've cut out long straps of fabric, very long straps of fabric. So I have them too. This is 15 inches. With. So that 15 inches, you are going to determine, just place your skirt like this. So I'm trying to explain all of this so you understand how to form. So that 15 inches, you are going to come to this part like this. And then you are going to add 15 inches to this, to the measurement of your skirt. So when you add 15 inches to the measurement of your skirt, I'll pull it up so you understand. So when you add 15 inches to the measurement of your skirt, you're going to see how long your skirt is going to be. So I'm just going to use this and then I'll measure now. So at the end of the day, the length of my skirt is going to be like about 41 inches. So you put that into consideration before adding it. Even after adding it, see if you are not lining it, you can still trim it if you feel that it is too long. So what I have here now, this is three yards. That's the full length is three yards. And then I have another three yards. So when you join them together, this is like six yards stretch and then 15 inches long. So I'll take them back to my machine. I'll join them together and then I'll draw a gather stitch on it and then show you how to connect it to this skirt. Okay, so I've cut out my fabric that I'm going to use. So the length, so what I have here, now this is three yards for one, and then this is another three yards. That's the full long strap, is three yards. And then the length is 15 inches, just like I explained to you now. So we'll go back to the machine now. So you can do this in two ways. You can gather it or you can pleat it. If you want a bulkier effect, you pleat it. But if you don't want it to be too bulky, you can do gathers. So I'm going to pleat it because I want it to be very full so we'll go over to the machine and then go and work on okay so we're going to start stitching now so before we start i'm going to do some little explanation so i decided to sew them singly that's one one instead of sewing the back and the front so initially i was thinking of joining it on the side and then just running a straight stitch but since i'm teaching so i decided to make it as easier as possible so i've gone ahead i've added the that so remember that my waist measurement is 32 so what I'm going to do now, when you measure 32, so this is my 32. So I added a notch on that 32 point. So this is the notch here already. So I'm going to go ahead and open it now. So this is the notch point here on this right side. So I'm going to start sewing from the down. So I'll be able to control it. But if I'm sewing the back, I'll start from the front. Just do it however it will be easier for you to control your pleats. So that is why. Because you need to sew on the right side. So that is why I need to start sewing from down. If not, I would have loved to start sewing from the top. So the next thing I'm going to do now. So I'm going to come in. So this is my waist measurement. I'm going to come in by half of an inch. So this is half of an inch. And then I'm just going to mark where I'm going to stitch. You understand? Where I'm going to stitch. Where I'm going to add my, my stitch. My pleats. So I'll just slide it into this point. You can do this in two ways. You can decide to just follow the edge of your of your skirt to do that. But I want a very beautiful curve, just like what you have on the picture. So in doing that, 
I'm just going to come in and then I'll just curve it a little bit and then mark it down with a chalk so that you'll be able to see it. So now let's start stitching. We'll start from the down. So I'm going to take my fabric. I'm going to divide it into two. That's I'm not cutting it. I'm just going to get the center point and then notch it. Why I'm doing that is half of this um, fabric, I'm going to pleat on this side. I'm going to pleat it from here, that's from this down part to this part. So the other half, I'm going to pleat it on this straight side because I want that straight side to be fuller. That's the curvy part to be fuller. So that is the reason why I'm doing that. So this is the right side of my fabric. I'm just going to go ahead like this. So I'll negotiate or rather navigate the core. So I'm just going to start pleating down here. Okay, so I've gotten to the half part of my long straight fabric. So I'm just going to continue pleating. So now I'm pleating it along the line. So once I stitch it towards the end, I'm going to leave about half of an inch on top. That's on top of this piece. Because I'm going to use it to join them on top like this so it falls down. So now let's go back to the table and open up what we have. Okay, so this is how the inside of the skirt, this is how it looks like. So you can see what we have so you see it is looking it is beautiful so with this it will be easier for beginners to follow through with this sketch so the next thing now we're going to add our pieces the one that we cut out initially so it's going to stay like this so you see it is a very simple process i'm just going to come to this end like this i'll take this and then i'll take this like this so you see the shaft and just match it up with this and then stitch along on the line. So I'm just going to use the ruffles line to stitch it to the end. So you see it, it will get to the end. So you see it's a perfect fit. It fitted into it perfectly. So I'll go ahead now back to my machine so you can see the slants. And then I'll sew that and then come back and show you how to join the sides. Okay, so I finished teaching. So you see how it is looking on the inside. So you see it came out beautiful and well. So you see it. So if you want to line your skirts now, this is the time for you to line it. So you are just going to turn your lining with your straight pencil skirt pattern. Just turn the lining from the down and then sew on the edge, edge different edge. So for mine, I'm not going to line it. Again, initially I was sort of lining it, but because the fabric is bulky enough, I decided to leave it that way. So you can see I've gone ahead, I've tucked in all of my ruffles inside, both the back, I placed the back and the front piece together. I tucked in everything inside, so I just have just my pencil skirt pattern right now. So the next thing, I'm going to take my full skirt measurement. I'll just go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so you can see what I have. So I finished marking my skirts now. So I marked on the pencil skirt. So if you notice, this part that has the longer drop, when I got to this part, I just stopped. I did not mark it. So I'll just leave it. I'll come back and show you how to finish up that part. So I'll go ahead and join the side right now. Okay, so I've gone ahead. I've joined one side of my skirt. So remember the longer part of my skirt. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to connect it now. So I'm going to come. So remember this part. So this is my pencil skirt inside. So what I'm going to do, I've not folded it. Because I'm going to use a hemming gun to iron it down. That's what I'll use to close it. So I'm just going to go ahead like this. I'll pin it so that I'll know where the length is going to get to. I'll do the same thing to this one. And then I'm going to place this long part. I'll just place it straight like this. And then place the other one and then make sure that the line aligns so make sure that it aligns here like this so i'm, I'm not i don't care about what i have up here i just want to align this first so after aligning this i can work on the top part 
so i'm just going to make sure to have a very good job to align it and then i'm going to go ahead and stitch it down so making sure so this part because i folded my skirt so if you notice i just folded it just the way it will, it will be like i said i'm making use of a hemming gum and then i'll go ahead okay so you can see so i finished my skirt so we're almost done so you can see how it is looking like so it came out very well and beautiful so what is remaining now is just for me to iron it so the next thing that is remaining is just for me to add my band so what i want to do i'm, I'm just going to do a tiny band so i'm going to make this skirt just like a waistless skirt so i'm going to use like one inch I'm just going to pipe the, the waist. That's just the best word to use. So I'm just going to cut out about two inches of straight straight fabric, which I'm going to use to turn the waistline. So that's the, that. I'll turn out the waistline and then I'll go ahead and fix my zipper. So that's all. And then for the edges of my skirt, I'm just going to use a savage. So I'm going to use um, use um. So you can see the down part of our pencil skirt. So what I'm going to do, I'll just use hemming gum, like I said, I'll clip it down with hemming gum. And then the edges, I'm going to use already made savage with that machine. We call it weaving. So it depends on what you want. So for this top part, so you see what I did. So instead of you leaving it to hand, so you can leave it to dangle. But I just put my hand inside and just stitch. That's joining the two together. So that is that. So I'll, at the end of it, I'll just place it on the mannequin for you to see the final look. Okay, so at the end of the day, so you can see how our skirt came out. So it came out very beautiful. So you see the down part. So like I said, I've not, I've not hemmed it down. So I'm going to hem it with hemming gum. I'm just going to use that. And then for the edges, so I used a an English lock so that is I use an English lock to to lock the down of the dress so it's looking like all of these already made dresses and then for this top part of my of my flounce what I did I trimmed this, this top part so you notice that it's not as big as this one I just reduced it a little bit so you can see let me turn it like this so I reduced it a little bit I just trimmed out a little because I didn't want this Part to be that big and then you can see the back also so for the back our mannequin her bum bum is big so i don't want to force it so you can see how this part came out it came out well and beautiful also so thank you so much if you find this video helpful please hit on the like button if you have not subscribed please subscribe thank you so much i'll see you in our next video